we start this course electromagnetic field theory it is particularly for second year electrical engineering students we'll try to cover some important topics for this course now let us start the transmission line transmission line are commonly used in power distribution at low frequency and at high frequency in communication now a transmission line basically consists of two or more parallel conductors used to connect a source to a load the source may be hydroelectric generator a transmitter or an oscillator and the load may be a factory antenna or an oscilloscope now the typical transmission lines number 1 coaxial line number 2 two wall line number 3 planar line number 4 a wire above conducting plane and number 5 a microstrip line Now the coaxial cables are used in electrical laboratories and in connecting TV sets to antenna. Whereas the microstrip lines are particularly important in integrated circuits. Now the transmission line problems are solved by means of electromagnetic field theory and electric circuit theory. We use electric circuit theory because uh, it is easier to deal with mathematically. and the basic concept of wave propagation such as propagation constant reflection coefficient and standing wave ratio now the topic is transmission line parameter now look at this figure in this figure the line parameter r l g c are not discrete or lumped they are the distributed the distributed parameter of a two conductor transmission line now let us consider how an electromagnetic wave propagates through a two conductor transmission line for example look at this figure consider the coaxial line connecting the generator or source to the load now when the switch s is closed the inner conductor is made positive with respect to the outer one so that the e field is radially outward which is shown in this figure this is the direction of e field now according to ampere's law the h field encircles the current carrying conductor as shown in this figure and which is denoted as the dotted line that is the h field now the pointing vector we know that the pointing vector means e cross h points along the transmission line thus closing the switch simply establish a disturbance which appears as a transverse electromagnetic wave propagating along the line this wave is a non uniform plane wave and by means of it power is transmitted through the line now a two conductor transmission line supports a transverse electromagnetic wave that is the electric and magnetic fields on the line are perpendicular to each other and the transverse to the direction of wave propagation now the topic is transmission line equation now let us consider an incremental portion of length del z of a two conductor transmission line and we have to find an equivalent circuit for this line and derive the line equation and the from the figure 1 just look at this figure that is the figure 1 we get the equivalent circuit that is the figure 4 the equivalent circuit model of a two conductor transmission line of differential length del z and the model in figure 4 is in terms of the line parameter that is the r l g and c and may represent any of the two conductor lines of figure 1 now in this model of figure we assume the wave propagates along the positive z direction from the generator to load that is the transmission line equation model figure 4 now look at this figure this is the incremental portion of length del z 
Now applying the K-wheel to the outer loop of the circuit, we can write P Z T equal to R del Z I Z T plus L del Z del I Z T by del T plus V Z plus del Z T. That means V Z T is equal to R del Z I Z T plus L del I by del T, L del Z del I, Z T by D T plus V Z plus del Z T. So you can write minus of Z plus del Z T minus V Z T by del Z is equal to R I Z T plus L del I Z T by T. This is equation 1. As del Z tends to 0. So you can write minus del V Z T by del Z is equal to R I Z T plus L del I Z T by del T. Question 2. Now applying the KCL to the main node of the circuit. We write I Z T is equal to I Z plus del Z T plus del I. That means I Z T is equal to I Z plus del Z T plus del I. So I can write I Z plus del Z T plus what is the value of del I? We can write G del Z V Z plus del Z T plus C del Z del V Z plus del Z T by del T. Del I that is equal to G del Z V Z plus del Z T plus C del Z del V by del T del V Z plus del Z T by T T. So you can write minus I Z plus del Z T minus I Z T divided by del Z that is equal to G V Z plus del Z T plus C del V Z plus del Z T by del T. This is equation 3. Similarly, as the del Z tends to 0, we can write minus del I Z T by del Z that is equal to G V Z T plus C del V Z T Equation 4. Now we assume the harmonic time dependence function. What is? That is a VZT equal to real part of VSZ e to the power J omega T and ISZT equal to real part of ISZ e to the power J omega T. This is equation 5. And this is equation 6. Here the VSZ and ISZ are the phasal forms of time, harmonic time dependence function. That is the VZT and IZT. So we can write from the equation 2 and 4. I explained in previous section that is the minus del VZT by del Z that is equal to RIZT plus L del IZT by del T. So we can write minus GVS by DZ that is equal to R plus J omega L IS. 
see this one minus dvs by dz r plus g omega l is now come to the fourth equation minus del i z t by del z that is equal to g v z t plus c del v z t by dt so similarly we can write minus del i s by del z that is equal to g plus j omega c v s this is equation 7 this is equation 8 now say this equation equation 4 now these two differential equations 7 and 8 are the coupled and to separate them we take the second derivative of vs what is the second derivative d square vs by dz square we can write r plus j omega l dis by dz what is the value that is equal to g plus j omega c vs or we can write d square vs dz square minus gamma square vs that is equal to c this is equation 9 now the second derivative of is we write d square is by dz square similarly is equal to c this is equation 10 these two equation 9 and 10 are the wave equation for voltage and current now we write gamma that is the propagation constant we can write alpha plus j beta that means r plus j omega l to g plus j omega c where gamma is the propagation constant in per meter and alpha is the attenuation constant in decibels per meter and beta is the phase constant in radians per meter. Now the topic is characteristic impedance. Z0. Now the characteristic impedance of the line is the ratio of the positively traveling voltage wave to the current wave at any point of the line. So you can write Z0 is equal to V0 plus by I0 plus or we can say minus V0 minus by I0 minus. From the previous equation we know that minus dvs by dz is equal to r plus j omega l to is now the solution of linear homogeneous equation homogeneous differential equation are we know that Vsz we can write this is equal to V0 plus e to the power minus gamma z plus V0 minus e to the power gamma z. This is for the positive traveling wave and this is for negative traveling wave. Similarly, we can write Isz, I0 plus e to the power minus gamma z plus I0 minus e to the power gamma z. Similarly, this is for positive traveling wave and this is for negative traveling wave. Now, we can write d by dz. Now, 
put this value of Vs. You can write V0 plus C to the power minus gamma Z is equal to R plus G omega L. Now put this value of Is, I0 plus E to the power minus gamma Z. Or we can write minus V0 plus E to the power minus gamma Z gamma is equal to R plus J omega L I0 plus E to the power minus gamma Z. Or we can write V0 plus gamma is equal to R plus J omega L I0 plus or V0 plus by I0 plus is equal to R plus J omega L by gamma that is equal to Z0 or Z0 equal to V0 plus by I0 plus or we can write V0 minus by I0 minus R plus J omega L by gamma similarly is equal to gamma by G plus J omega C or Z0 equal to R plus J omega L plus G plus J omega C or we can write R0 plus J X0. Now the topic is lossless line. Condition is R equal to 0 equal to G. We know that the Z0 equal to root over R plus G omega L by G plus G omega C. The condition is R equal to 0 equal to G. So we can write Z0 equal to R0 plus Z X0. We can write Z omega L by J omega C is equal to L by C or R0 equal to root over L by C and X0 equal to 0. Now the second one is a distortionless line and the condition is R by L equal to G by C. So I can write R by L equal to G by C or Z0 equal to root over R plus G omega L by G plus G omega C or we can write R into 1 plus J omega L by R G plus 1 by G omega C by G or R 1 plus J omega we can write L by R that is equal to C by G G 1 plus J omega C by G or Z0 equal to root over R by G equal to root over L by C. So R0 equal to, so Z0 equal to R0 plus Zx0. We can write L by C or R0 equal to root over L by C or X0 equal to. Now come to this simple problem in it. Lossless transmission line, the velocity of propagation is 2.5 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Capacitance of the line is 30 pf per meter. Find number 1 inductance of the line, number 2 phase constant 100 megahertz and number 3 characteristic impedance of the line. First number 1 the inductance of the line. We know that the phase velocity Vp equal to 1 by root over Lc. So you can write Vp square equal to 1 by Lc or L equal to 1 by C Vp square. Now put this value 1 by C. That means 30 picofarad, 13 to 10 to the power minus 12 into 2.5 whole square, 2.5 into 10 to the power 8, 2.5 whole square into 10 to the power 16. 
after computing this value we get 187.5 into 10 to the power 4 or L equal to 5.33 into 10 to the power minus 7 Henry per meter. This is the answer. Now come to the next problem. Phase constant 100 megahertz. We know Vp equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and F equal to 100 mhertz. And we know that the Vp equal to omega by phase constant. So Vp 2 pi F may 100 megahertz by Vp 2.5 into 10 to the power 8. After computing this value we get 2.51 rat per meter. So phase constant, phase constant equal to 2.51 rat per meter. This is the answer. And number 3, characteristic impedance of the line. Characteristic impedance that is denoted Z0 equal to you know L by C. What is the value of L? 5.33 into 10 to the power minus 7 and C. What is the value of C? 30 into 10 to the power minus 12 and after computing this value we get 133.29. So, this is the answer Z0 133.29 ohm. Now come to the next problem. An AR line has a characteristic impedance of 70 ohm and a phase constant of 3 rat per meter at 100 megahertz. Now calculate the inductance per meter and the capacitance per meter of the line. So come to the solution. And L can be regarded as a lossless line. So we can write R equal to G equal to 0. We know the propagation constant is equal to root over R plus J omega L into G plus J omega C. Or we can write alpha plus J beta equal to j omega root over lc phi equal to 0 and beta equal to omega root over lc now the characteristic impedance for the lossless line we can write z0 equal to r0 is equal to root over l by c Now R0 by beta, we can write root over L by C. So we can write 1 by omega C. Or C is equal to beta by omega R0. What is the value of beta? That is the phase constant 3 rat per meter. 3, 2 pi F, F 100 megahertz. 100 into 10 to the power 6 into R0 that is the characteristic impedance. What is the value? 70. So after computing this value we can write 68.2 Pf per meter. This is the answer. Now the second one. What is the inductance per meter? From this equation R0 equal to root over LSI. We can write L equal to R0 square C. What is the value of R0? Characteristic impedance 70 square into C 68.2 into 10 to the power minus 12. After computing this value we get 
एन इंच एम इस स्टैंड से 